Hello everyone! This is Raptor Attacks Fun Videos for Kids and I've got another great video today. Today we're going to be doing a Mattel vs. Hasbro battle. So let's start out with the two Indominus Rexes. A team of Mattel and Hasbro will go up against each other in battle and I will reveal the winner after we do a quick review of every dinosaur. So let's get started. The Soaring Devour Donus Rex versus Jurassic World Hasbro's Indominus Rex. Okay, here we go. She's got a giant chomp, and she's bigger than the other one. With, and she can also stand up right. Let's see how she goes with a giant chomp. Not, it's bigger and a bigger roar. But let's see how she does with a slash. Looks like she's just smacking her in the face. Let's see how Mattel does. Great! And now, what about standing upright? Maybe we can prop her up with her tail. Okay. Now, we'll reveal the winner in just a minute. Right after we review them. Okay, quick review on the Destroy and Devour and Dominus Rex. I really like this one. It's so detailed. And also, see how the neck moves when I put it up and down? It makes it easier to grab the little dinosaur or a uh, person toy, like a Owen toy or something. It also has a slash and grab and a button here and it roars. Even the inside of the mouth is really detailed. It even lights up in the back of the mouth. And I just really like this one. Here's the scan code for Jurassic World Facts app, if you have it. Okay. Now let's do a quick review on the uh, Indominus Rex. Just the regular Hasbro one. Okay. Now, the arms do not move like they do on this one. It's actually very posable. And this one doesn't move at all. Also, I don't really care for the rubberiness to it. I don't know. I know some people like it because it looks more realistic. It does, actually. But you can see it's just, it wrinkles up weird. <laughs> and to me, this Indominus Rex does not look as realistic as this one because of, you can't detail the rubber very much. It's not the best. It also has a bigger horn, which I do like. On this one, it's smaller, but still good. It's also got these weird things, the bristle things, that aren't, you can't really see them as well. Well, on this one you can. And also, it does not stand up. I can't even prop it up with its tail anymore. So, and also, look at all those screw holes. It looks like someone shot it in the side. The sound is right there, which is okay, because sometimes they put them on the side, which is really annoying. It does not look good at all. And I always like that Mattel always puts them on the tail or on the belly, which is really nice. The eye does look a little cartoony. Well, on this one, it looks more realistic. But I do like the job on Hasbro's toys. I like the clearness on the back, and I think I like the that it lights up on its back instead of its neck. So that's, anyway, that's, I like those. Now time for the rest. Okay, another epic battle between 
my favorite T-Rex from Hasbro and my favorite T-Rex from Mattel. Okay, here we have a Hasbro versus Mattel T-Rex battle. Okay, bite, er, just thrash and throw T-Rex, goes in for a bite. She comes up. But can Hasbro beat that? Yes, they can. By a spine strike. Oh no. Rexy's gotten scratched by her on her side by another T Rex. Let's see if she can do that with an extra big chomp. Let's see how big he can chomp. Not very big. He can't even fit her neck in her mouth. Let's see if they can both stand up. Yes, she can. Can Mattel stand up? Yes, she can. Okay, time to reveal the winner after a quick review. Okay, quick review on the Thrash and Throw T-Rex. This is from Mattel. The arms do move and the legs move. It does have a control here. You can use it and it, and it has got a thrash and a roar. I do have the batteries out of both of these because they were so loud. I meant to put them back for the uh, for the video, but I forgot to do that. But so on this one, the battery case is on the tail right there, which is good. And so is the sound, the speaker. It looks very realistic. Uh, but on Hasbro's, and it's on the side. And also this one's bigger compared to the T-Rex from Hasbro. Although I do have to say this. The, I think this T-Rex is the most fun. Mattel's aren't that fun because they don't really put a lot of buttons on them, but the Primal Attack series is coming out with more of them, which I'm really excited because they're a lot more fun. So that was a lot better. But I do love this spine strike thing. I love that it's so fun. And it's got a chomp. The thing I don't like about these T-Rexes, the jaw is way too big. Look at that. That's so crazy. It is the weirdest T-Rex I've ever seen. Oh, and I do not like the Hasbro regular T-Rex at all. I'm definitely not going to get that unless I find it for a really good deal at the thrift store. This is actually the only T-Rex I have from Hasbro. Also, so I do like the colors that Hasbro chooses for them because they're like shiny. I don't like the colors, these two colors together. And it's weird that they have these weird honeycomb, eh, these honeycomb like things here. It's pretty weird. And also screw holes. Looks like it shot in the, it got shot in the side. Weird. Okay. My favorite one. The winner is, it's a tie. I both like these T-Rexes so much that it had to be a tie. And this one actually stands up. Okay, next one. Next up in a battle is Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, these are my sister's favorite, so I've got a... I, let's just say I've got a lot of them. Um, I got a little bit of black paint on this one. So let's get the this battle started. Mattel goes first with a a head ram. And next goes Hasbro with another head ram.
and a little head wiggle. It's broken, so I can't do it, but when you jiggle the tail, it used to do that. Okay, let's see who the winner is. Right after a quick review from the Mattel one. Okay, here's the scan code. And the, oh, the Thrasher Throw T Rex doesn't have a scan code, so I can show it to you. It got all ripped off. Okay, select the Pachycephalosaurus. Its head is movable, but and it's got and it rams its head. It just pops. It's got movable arms that also move out, which is nice. It's really detailed. The eye is perfect. And I love the colors. It's so pretty. And I don't really care for Pachycephalosauruses. I don't really care for them because they're so weird looking. But this one's actually a pretty much... I, I actually do like this one. It's my favorite one. Let's compare that to the uh, Hasbro. Oh, and also this one has no scroll holes. Okay, so this one's got movable arms, but they don't move out. It's also got movable legs, and it does stand up. It also has that battle damage there that I don't like. I wish they would make it not there, or at least make it so that it can go up because it's just there and it's weird. The colors are pretty strange for this kind of dinosaur unless it's like a hybrid or something because it looks like a bumblebee. It's okay. The head does jiggle and it's got a ramming head, but not the best. Okay, time to reveal the winner. And the winner is Mattel! She just blasted that Packy right out. Wait, did I tell you the winner to the Indominus Rexes? I guess not. If I didn't, I'll do one right now just to make That was so funny. I don't even think I did that. And the winner is of uh, Mattel or Hasbro. Who do you think it will be? Okay, let's see. <laughs> and the winner is Mattel. Yay! Okay, back to the next one. Okay, Velociraptor battle. Okay, we've got, I've got my favorite Velociraptor from Mattel over here. And my favorite one from Hasbro. Okay, let's start the battle. Why won't you? Sorry, this one's not working. 